In the previous video, we looked at the very basic contents of a procedural text animation using geometry nodes. This time, we'll apply it a little more. There are texts that move along the path. Most of the text path animations so far have been like this. Type in text, after make a path, it has to go through the process of connecting text and path. Using geometry nodes leads to much higher degrees of freedom. First, let's take a look at how to create text animation that follows the path in After Effects. Create a text layer after drawing a mask with a pen tool on the text layer. Select mask from the path option. Adjust the animation with the values of first and last margin. It's a little cumbersome if you're able to use a different path curve. Let's make it through the geometry nodes. First, after add a curve object, click the Geometry Nodes tab. Click the New button to create a new node tree. In order to work while looking at the curve that indicates the path, add a Join Geometry node. Add a String to Curve node to enter text. Now, add the Instance on Points node to arrange the text on the curve. Connect the text to the Instance socket. Connect once more to the Join Geometry node to continue checking the shape of the curve. To render the text, add the Fill Curve node and code it with blank material through the Set Material node. Now, we can see material applied in rendered view. The texts are arranged on the curve. Add the Resample Curve node and adjust the count. Connect the Curve Tangent node and add the Align Euler to Vector node to the rotation socket of the Instance on Points node to arrange the text according to the curve tangent. The arrangement along the curve is over. There is an animation process left. To move a single object along the path of curve, we can use the Set Position node and the Sample Curve node. However, text animation is more difficult because it has to move by individual text, not by whole. Originally, the positions of each instance should be moved along with the every point information of the curve, but I haven't found the eject formula. So I do animation in a way that offsets the index number. Add an index node and a math node to connect to the instance index socket. If I adjust the value number, we can get the effect of moving text. Add or subtract works the same way, only different directions of the slider. The problem is that the texts are repeated. This problem is caused by offsetting the index of the object. How can you solve this problem? I solved it by entering empty text through the spacebar. So far, we have looked at how to implement text animation that follows the path through the geometry nodes. Personally, I don't like the way it is now. Rather than offsetting the index of the text, I think it's right to move the positions of individual texts along the curve. However, I wanted to share the possibility of using text and curve objects on the geometry nodes as soon as possible. Please refer to this video and find a better way to work. As time goes by, 
Geometry nodes will become much more convenient to use than they are now. The important thing is to practice with a continuous interest and getting used to it little by little, day by day. Thank you for your time.